My name is Nashmiya Haroon. Uh, I'm a visual artist, uh, but I also run a creative space by the name of Taghir Lahore uh, in the heart of Lahore. And uh, we do all kinds of different things there uh, related to music and literature and art, of course. I uh, graduated in painting from the National College of Arts uh, in 2004. I did my master's as well. Uh, but uh, I had been taking pictures uh, into photography for a very long time, uh, since before graduation actually. And uh, they kind of uh, remained as a parallel thing in my life. And uh, I have been practicing photography for almost uh, 22 years now. And uh, that's just the nature of my work that I've been able to handle everything. I'm a, more of a multitasker. I think there have been very, very many defining moments in my life, but uh, I feel like at a certain age now, um, and music has really changed my worldview <laughs> about a lot of things, and it comes from a place of um, creativity, of course, but also from a place of spirituality. I feel like. I am into all kinds of music, uh, uh, everything that comes in between. Um, heavy metal and Eastern classical music, everything in between that. I, I listen to a lot of jazz now. The recent uh, exhibition I had uh, was uh, is called uh, Marks of Sound 2 and this is the second exhibition of abstract painting that I uh, did within the past two years. It was an exhibition of paintings and uh, large-scale paintings and I have been working and looking at uh, abstraction and non-representation through painting. And the main uh, inspiration behind that is uh, Eastern classical music. I think uh, I couldn't be any, anything else besides being a creative or as somebody who is involved in creativity because that's just who I am. I think I would be extremely lost without it. I feel like my practice has changed so much <laughs> in terms of medium and concept. Uh, so the final thesis work for my MA program was a structure I made in scaffolding around the um, National College of Arts main courtyard fountain. And that was a very challenging uh, yet very fruitful, I felt uh, very defining moment for my career. Um, I'm particularly, it, it, it made me feel like, okay, this is something that I, maybe I did a good thing with it. Well, at that time I was, uh, Lahore was being housemanized, meaning that it was, there were a lot of physical changes happening between Lahore, uh, within Lahore. And I was uh, documenting, taking pictures of that entire notion that Lahore is changing now and it doesn't look like what it used to. And that was the inspiration behind that uh, particular uh, installation. Both, they're the same for me. I work in, in both mediums and it all depends on what the work is asking for actually. The work defines the medium itself, the idea defines the medium itself. I think that being in the studio is the most important thing every day. Even if you're there to just read a book or flip through um, uh, a magazine or uh, watch a documentary, it's just very, very important to have a presence in the studio every day. Uh, that's where the work uh, comes in. It's very important. I live next door to my studio and obviously I'm a working mother so when I'm at home I'm looking at things inside the home and I'm very preoccupied with my home and as a, as a homemaker but as soon as I enter my studio it doesn't matter whether I'm tired or unhappy or anything or agitated I just coming stepping into the studio gives me so much energy and that's the kind of environment and that's the kind of setup every artist needs to make for themselves they have to they have to create that environment to, in order to produce work and put in the hours. So the first time I stepped into the old, the actual initial uh, Zeitgeist store, I remember just stepping in and just being transported into some other time because it's, it has this very timeless look from like the floors and the walls and everything being dark wood and it looks like you've gone into one of those beautiful old tailor shop 
where they make like they custom make things for you it's really sweet it's really homely yeah